And there's a gentleman at my front porch knocking on the door saying that they're homeless, they're cold, and they need to use my phone. Testimony continues in week three in the trial of Daryl Brooks. Today, prosecutors detail the chain of events after they say he drove through the Waukesha Christmas Parade. That is where we begin today at four. A closer look at the arrest of Daryl Brooks. Police say Brooks was banging on doors in a Waukesha neighborhood, hoping someone would help him. Fox 6's Brett Lemoyne live at the courthouse once again with the testimony from the man who took Brooks in just minutes before he was handcuffed, Brett. Yeah, that's right, Ben and Stephanie. Good evening. Daniel Ryder says when he opened his front door, Daryl Brooks was standing on his porch. He said he was only wearing a T-shirt. He didn't have any shoes on and that Brooks told Ryder he was homeless and needed help. Ryder's ring doorbell cameras captured their conversation. Ryder let Brooks into his home, gave him a coat and made Brooks a sandwich. Prosecutors say Brooks used Ryder's phone to call his mother to help him get an Uber. After about 10 minutes, Brooks left. A neighbor was outside and asked if Brooks was, quote, the guy from the parade. Prosecutors say Brooks drove an SUV through the route. Six people were killed and dozens of others hurt. Ryder said he didn't know about the attack at that time, but just then police spotted Brooks on the porch. Brooks can be heard on police body camera recordings asking, quote, did I do something? He lifted his shirt really quickly, but then I, he was like, ah, oh, don't worry, I'm not worried about that. And so I didn't, it's not like I patted him down or anything like that. How would you describe his demeanor as he was inside your house? Objection leading. Overruled, you may answer. Um, I would say flustered, but also there were many times he was thanking me. And so he was grateful. And he even said, thank you so much for showing me love, man. Now we are firmly in week three of this trial. It is day 11. The prosecution is starting to wind down its case. They said last week they hope to wrap by tomorrow. But again, first, they need to have the jury view that red SUV in person. That could happen tomorrow. Reporting live in Waukesha, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. We've seen that doorbell video before. Never heard from that guy until now. So that was interesting testimony today. Brett, thanks. Stay with Fox 6 for the latest from the trial. We're streaming this on Fox 6 on our Milwaukee YouTube page, the Fox 6 News Milwaukee Facebook page, and the Fox 6 News app and website. That's fox6now.com.